We are talking about the snow up there and really this is one of our other cold weekends. You know, we just had that last blast what, earlier in the week of cold air and now this is a second one. It just doesn't accompany the snow for most folks across North Carolina. You do see some scattered snow showers just w working its way in around that upper low as it brings in a little bit of moisture. What's left over you can see in Boone right now. Look at those roads a little bit icy tonight for folks. We're at 16 degrees. They're under winter weather advisories at least until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning and and we have seen those winds up and down a little bit in just the last few minutes. Uh, they had felt like um, 12 degrees to near 10 degrees for temperatures. Winston-Salem, you feel like 23 degrees, so about 7 degrees cooler right now. Even though you're at 30 degrees and technically above freezing, you are going to be feeling much colder tomorrow morning too. Beach Mountain, you can see here from their sledding cam from resortcams.com. Lots of whiteout conditions by the end of the day. And certainly we have wind chill advisories until noon tomorrow. So this is a big concern if you are going to be sledding or maybe heading out and enjoying the snow in general just around your home. Make sure that the kids have their hands protected and face too because it doesn't take long out there. Really, if you're going to be out for more than an hour to see some of those concerns for frostbite. Now, two inches reported earlier this morning. This was in the Beach Mountain area, and so we may be adding to those totals. Now, this is widely scattered light snow that we're still seeing tonight. More of a nuisance or driving hazards for us, but hopefully getting a little bit more on those western slopes. 14 and Sparta 16 in West Jefferson right now and you feel like that right at the moment because your winds are a little bit lower. We've got eight degrees below zero for feels like temperatures in Beach Mountain. That is super cold and we also feel like the upper 20s as we head east from Reedsville through Winston Salem. As you know, your temperatures are feeling much colder too and even though temperatures are reading a few degrees above that now throughout the morning hours those winds are expected to come back up. We've got gusts throughout the day at 25 miles an hour. We hit 50 degrees right about the noon hour today and then that cold air started to rush in typically 49 degrees this time of the year and instead of seeing these temperatures in the 40s and 50s we've got you in the teens tomorrow in the mountains starting out at seven degrees feeling like nine to ten below 14 and maybe feeling like one below zero by three o'clock that'll be an improvement that is not a huge improvement but staying below freezing for at least about 48 hours it looks like in the piedmont or in the mountains foothills you've got temperatures at 15 degrees six degrees or feels like temperatures and about 28 degrees for afternoon highs while you feel like the teens and right now we're forecasting from 18 degrees in the morning, feeling like seven in the Piedmont tried to 29 degrees for an afternoon high. This could be one of our colder afternoons that we have seen so far this year and really since 2022. And as well, it might be one of the cooler record high minimums that we have seen, if that makes sense. So the coldest that will have been for highs that day. We'll see how it pans out tomorrow. Let's hope that it's wrong and we could be warmer than that. We do have temperatures that do warm up by your Monday. We'll be back into the 40s, but Sunday still a day of 30s, at least above freezing by then. And heading into Tuesday, notice we've got more clouds filling in. Later in the afternoon, there's a chance to see some scattered and spotty showers. You've got temperatures in the upper 40s at that point to 50s for folks to the east, and we'll be looking forward to that. So a milder trend does build for this week. That cold air kicked out with that ridge of high pressure building in from the south and that is going to help the temperatures at least aloft and encouraging temperatures here at the surface to be warmer than average. We're talking some 60s toward the end of the week and rainfall totals could be anywhere from a half an inch to more than an inch by the time we talk about rain chances. There is a trade off. We've got upper 50s with rain chances building on Wednesday, then 60s Thursday and Friday might be our warmer day at 66 degrees. We'll be back with more right after this.